this video, I will be going over how the procedural generation works in my mining game and work my way towards a solid prototype. The game I am making is a simple mining game set on the moon where you use resources you mine from underneath the surface to build and upgrade your lunar base. Without further ado, let's get into the explanation of a procedural generator. So, the procedural generation. The base for the map generator comes from this helpful tutorial. The original tutorial shows you how to make 2D cave shapes using a process called cellular automata. With a bit of adaption, I can make it generate little patches of stone, like this. In my game, I want there to be multiple rock types with different hardnesses. How I achieved this was by layering multiple instances of a generation on top of each other, with slightly tweaked parameters. Lastly, I can use the original generation properties to add some caves into the map. For now, this should be enough for map generation. Having only worked on the project for a couple of days, all I had was platformer movement and a basic mining system. The mining system was very buggy and mined blocks I never clicked on. I quickly fixed that and added a bit of feedback to make it more clear when the player was mining. Now that I had solid mining and platformer mechanics, I added minerals that had a chance to drop each time a block was mined. Harder rocks are more likely to drop rarer minerals. These can be picked up and stored in a basic inventory system. To add a basic goal to the game, I let the player sell their items at the surface. Now that I was using different interactions, I sensed my future pain and implemented a proper interaction system. On the note of good coding practices, I cleaned up all my code. Finally, I added some post-processing and lighting to quickly improve my graphics a bit. Here's what I made. Well, that's all I'll be doing today. If you enjoyed the video or are interested in following the process of a game, please make sure to subscribe. The game might seem a bit basic right now, but I do have lots of interesting things planned, such as base building, survival mechanics, and possibly combat, which I'll address in the next few episodes. Anyway, thanks so much if you watched to the end. It means a lot to me. Goodbye.